Hey everyone. Hi Taurus. Okay. Welcome to Opal Oracle. Opal Oracle. <laughs> if you're new and if you're returning, well, welcome back. It's nice to have you here. Um, your energy is a little bit different. Um, everyone's been, you know, this Piscean full moon that's coming up on the 26th, this should be posted by then, is a big deal. Okay, Pisces rules the moon, um, or the moon card at very least is Pisces card. It's a great time to, yeah, to change. Um, what it is that's still bugging us, hurting us, poking us in the back. You know what I mean? That monkey on your back. So I'm using these cards, Taurus, that I, they're very special, okay? Change just popped out again. Um, hold on a second. So that's your inner child. Your present self. Prince of Discs. Okay. Future self. Your present self is looking right into that change. That's good. Future self. Princess of cups. So you go down a level. Ego. Death. That's Scorpio. Your strength right now is futility. Interesting. Which is the seven of swords, technically. And your outcome or advice. We have the three of swords with the strength. They came out together. That's very important. And I'm glad that they did. See, this is what happens with you, Taurus, right? Coming into the reading like, hey, hi. But if you start, if you dig a little, like if you even touch the surface... Right? What happens? It's like it all bubbles up. Interesting. Didn't we talk about this last time? Like a you and Capricorn actually had it. This whole side story. Um, interesting. Okay, now. Don't be mad at me. I'm not mad at me. It's just life. Change is slow, right? Takes time to figure out which way to go, how to do it. I see that your present self, in a way, wants to change. I see that um, you're kind of going about it not the wrong way. But you know, it's like your present self is like, hey, Taurus, are you, you can't change, because the thing is, is this is telling you, your inner child is like, go forward, change, do the, ch like we've been talking about, right, since about May, like, just do it, change, and now, for those of you, because I know there's some people who are Torians who have different aspects that make it easier, but these readings are for the people who need it the most, okay? So, particularly Taurus Sun, but anyway, it's like, your inner child is like, please change, Taurus. Just move forward. It's so good. Like, you can have such a brand new, fresh start. Look how free she is. And this cool, like, hawk feather. You know? Just complete trust and freedom. You know? But the thing is, is I think what you're doing in your present moment, even though you're here and now, you're still, there's still something about how you wish you could go back and change the past. But you can't. You know? They sold the farm, Taurus. 
Now where are you going to go? You can go anywhere you want to go. It's really exciting. It's like having, basically God is like, here Taurus, here's a key. Actually, you know what? Don't even worry about that. I'll open this door for you because you've been standing in front of it for 20 years. And then it, God let you stand in front of that door for a while, many years, right? Long time for a lot of you. And then what? Well, then your angels, your ancestors, or whatever, came over and gave you a swift kick in the ass through the door. And I know you didn't like that. You tried to kick a bull from behind. They're going to get upset. You know, they're going to be like, what? The? I didn't. But then you're a Taurus, so you're like, why did you hurt me? Ruled by Venus. Why did you do that? That's not loving, you know, but the thing is, is sometimes love, even though you're ruled by Venus, like sometimes love is not always, life isn't going to be, why well, hurt everything you want it to be, but it can be awesome, okay? I see that in the future, you can have a creative endeavor if you don't stay stuck, okay, because this Ego, Scorpio right here, death, transformation, significant transformation, okay? I told you a couple months back, they're not, six months back even, they're not, Scorpio's no longer letting you bury anything in their backyard anymore, subconsciously, whatever. They're not letting really anybody do it, and they're actually really upset right now because of, you know, which is the thing is, is that also represents you. You know, it may be an opposite, but it is the same. Because it's the exact mirrored opposite, you know, it's the mirrored reflection. So, your ego doesn't want to change. But, <laughs> I heard too bad. Because death, you can't stop death. I don't care if death is in your ego or not. Maybe this means death of your ego. And maybe that's really hard and you don't want to admit that, that that is an ultimate, that, that you can't win that one. Okay? You want to battle that? Really? No. No, you don't. You won't win that, even if you want to. And here I see that you don't have the strength to even consider combating what it is that's still blocking you. But you do have the strength that's blocking you within your ego. Okay? But anything that's blocking you in your life that you're like, okay, yeah, I know that this isn't working. I know that I want to change this. I know that I want this in my life. You know, you have no, you, the only pentacles here are this two pentacles. And it's in your inner, it's in your inner, your inner change. Good. That's good. Um, it does also express that if the inner change is the two of pentacles, it's like, I feel like this is a cartoon, but like, which way did he go? Which way did he go? It's almost as if someone else is in charge of your direction, but that's not true. You are, you are, um, you are, you are in charge of that. I see not to give up. Okay. I know in a way you feel kind of defeated in all the changes that have happened, right? Judgment on the bottom. Yeah, it's, it was out of your control tour. I mean, listen, it was, judgment only comes, okay, people can be like, judgment, rebirth, and yes, it can mean that sometimes, but judgment can also represent where, it's kind of like the tower where, something really drastic happens because you weren't willing to take the steps yourself again god gave you the key you didn't do anything with the key he took the key back from you opened the door you stood in front of that door for a long time then you got kicked through the door right you got bucked through the door and who rolls doors scorpio 
So, I see you want to change your finances. Um, you got to start looking at it in a different way. Okay? I actually just made these cute little oracle cards. They're adorable. I think they're adorable. It's just my inner child having fun. Um, like I told Virgo, because I know you're very technical too, like, um, they're not perfect. They're just, like, fun prototype. So, let's see your present position. Think about it differently. What did I say? This is actually, it's cool. I painted this. This is actually backwards. Like, you're seeing it forward. The mirrored, you're seeing the mirrored reflection. Okay, Prince, Princess of Cups. That's your future. Fun, 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 fun. Good. Both of those are orange. I like that. Your sacral chakra is your creativity. It's your, your ego. Yes. Your strength is futility. Family. It's a messy family too, isn't it? It's not quite organized, or but you're safe in it. Okay? If you want to be. Future. Golden purifier. Good. It's on the bottom. Time. Time. Your inner child is trying to awaken you, okay? This actually message has been coming for a lot of people. It's Uranus in your sign is making it very collective in ways of energy, but this is good, okay? Because then we can understand that we're a lot more similar to each other than we're made out to believe, okay? A lot similar to mother nature. There's nothing really that, there's nothing truly that distinguishes us if we break it down to the smallest common denominator. Now, I see that if you start thinking about it differently, you know what I mean? Like, maybe this means that you need to take note of the way other people function, you know? Like, instead of, again, doing what you have been doing for so long, well, how would someone else do it? How is someone else doing it, right? Understand that judgment is good. You know, look at that chariot and the judgment. You know what's underneath the chariot? Success. You know what un is underneath that? Told you, babe, the star. Okay? Uranus in your sign brought you success. A lot of you had to move or it really affected your home life in some way or another, right? Maybe even your children. Because what it was doing was unearthing things, Jupiter and Scorpio, that had to do with your upbringing, with the last, you know, whatever it is that defined you. If your relationships aren't fun with other people, that's your deal. That's nobody else's deal. Okay? I see that whatever this ego situation is with death, well, there's the world. Okay? If when, of course, this relating to yourself, it shows me that there's no way for you to say no. The world, death, and the yes card, there's absolutely no way for your ego to actually get in the way. And if it tries to in any kind of way, I see that um, Mars, which also rules Scorpio, will, I heard, kick your ass. <gasps> you know? In the way of understanding that, like, Look, also, the emperor is the father, right? I'm sure the majority of you are, what, 35 plus at least? Um, so, 
due to that, living X amount of time, because Scorpio is your opposite, you got to think about death, death and life. Okay, who has died in your life that you didn't, that you just stuffed down, right? We put it under the earth. You took your bull hooves and just pounded it into the earth. And Scorpio was like, what the fuck? This is hurting me, I heard. You know? I see there, during Scorpio season, you're going to be sort of it's again you feel like you're alone in something you feel like like there's no way out of something like there's no way you can win but that's not true at all that's not true are you praying and if you are praying remember my uncle and I were just talking about this you know he said that after my aunt, my auntie died, I guess I'll give you a little story. After my auntie passed away, and they were together, they were like soulmate. Like they never, I think they had one disagreement where he called her an old crow. And then she would go, caca, like once in a while, just to bring it up to fool with him. But they were just, they loved each other so much, it was almost disgusting, okay? It was like too, too much. But they both had their own troubles before then, right? But the thing is, is, so she ended up passing away and it was really a sad circumstance. You know, that death affected the whole family. You know, it was as much as when my grandfather died. You know, he was the one that kind of kept the family together and my Aunt Sue was like the fun one, you know, because she wasn't blood related to us. But anyway, the point is, is that he was single for many years and now he's kind of getting into a place of being like, okay, I think I'm ready now, right? He's being logical about it. He's like, I mean, granted, he tried, whatever. At this point, he's being logical about it and he's like, okay, I'm ready to do something new. I want to, I want to have a new life. I want to, I want to be with other people. You know, he's a Leo too, but that's not the point. The point is, is that he really liked this woman, you know, he really liked this person and he kept asking God because she wasn't giving him exactly what he, what he thought that he was asking for, right? And we were talking on the phone and he was saying that, he's like, you know, I just keep, you know, I just, he says that he just wants, and this is my uncle, he's heartbreaker. He's like, you know, I just want someone, you know, I want a best friend I want a best buddy and a love and, you know, someone to spend time with and things like that. But the thing was, is she was his best buddy and he did spend a lot of time with her and he had a bunch of friends. So all the things that he was actually asking God for, he already had. So it's like he was received, but he thought to himself, his ego was right, was like, oh, well, I, I'm not getting what I want, but, but yes. Yes, you are. You're getting exactly what you're asking for, exactly what you've been asking for. And if you do not, if you're not receiving what it is that you feel like you asked for, well, then you got to reword the question. Okay. I heard. Gone with the wind. I don't know who that is. I feel like it's a 70s radio song. Gone in the wind. I mean, obviously, Gone with the wind is a movie, but that isn't what I'm hearing. Something about time gone in the wind. You know, because that's what it is. You can't chase the wind. You'll never catch it. You know, also, if you're dealing with an air sign, like... It's different than you, you know? If you're dealing with a water sign, it's different than you. It's important. You probably get along or at least like meld together a little bit better with earth, but then I'm sure there's still like a stubbornness in there. Now, let's get into 
I also see, like, who was really in charge of the home when you were growing up? Who really wore the pants? Okay? Doesn't matter who went to work and all that, who was the breadwinner. I'm talking about who wore the pants. And there's something about that and you needing to keep that in check or be very aware of that in relation to who it is that you are during Virgo season, okay? And when things come up where you feel like, oh my God, I'm never gonna get out of this. You know, there's not like a safe way to do it. Well, then you gotta think about it differently, okay? I will say with futility and the emperor also, this is Aries again, Mars, this is Seven of Swords. With the family card in your strength, it's like your strength right now in a way is that you know how to lie to your family also, okay? And that's not good, you know? That's not good at all. Now, this could be a big old lie, or it could be something small. But either way, there's no lying allowed, and that's part of what the world and the death and yes is in your ego. Okay? Now, lying can just be to yourself like, I heard, I'm just going to be like my father. You know, something like that, or whatever the situation is. You know? I'm never going to change or that kind of mentality. No way, Jose. You got to tell you can't think like that. It, and this is, goes back to the air quality I was talking about because the only swords you have here is the three of swords and the seven of swords. That's not that promising for your ability to be able to conceive something differently. Okay? To, again, think about it differently. You have to. So if you have air sign friends or people that are just... You feel like they're good communicators, verbally so. Like, communicate with them and be really open to what it is that the, I hear that they're doing because it'll help you to understand what it means to... Because air signs, I think I mentioned this before, air signs have to hold that... You have the Ace of Pentacles. It's awesome. You have a seed that'll grow a whole field of food. Okay? Okay? Air signs have a big ass sword. Now, I guess you could throw a squash at someone if you needed to protect yourself. But a squash is still not a sword. A sword always beats a squash. Okay? <laughs> like rock, paper, scissors. Right? Although in that game, the earth beats the what cuts. But that's a different story. The point is, is that Air, because we all have water, earth, air, fire in our chart. Air is the, I sense, your downfall, okay? Like maybe you have difficult air where your planets are in your air houses or whatever. It's challenging for you. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't fix that. It just means that you have to, again, well, I heard, stop thinking about the past. Make a decision to try something new, whether it's within whatever you're already within, or completely, because that's what I'm talking about with the sword. All air signs have to learn how to cut away at things in their life they're not allowed to hang on to it. your eye possess right you want to like this is this is mine it's mine it's like easy it's not yours at all i could just fucking take that out of your hands and smash it right and maybe that's what you feel like sometimes when you have to separate things from your life whether that's physically psychologically emotionally whatever, sexually even, right? Now, I see from August until October, if you can get out of this, like, 
all this doubt, all this worry, anything that's like you feel like, I don't know. When it comes to, again, I have to emphasize, it's about, because it, when we're talking about new, it's not that you have to wipe the slate clean and not even have a slate. It's like, for some of you, yes. So God took his arm and pushed you through that door, shut it, locked it, and you'll never go back in there. And the thing is, is it doesn't even matter either way because that's kind of what's happening. But it's, it's where it all depends on what level you're at, okay? For, for everyone, you, are, you walk through, for some of you, you walk through the door. Maybe you're just on the other side of it and you're like, where do I go? I don't know where to go. You know, and then it was like, <laughs> get going. But, um, if you keep trying to do the same thing that you're doing, particularly anything that has to do with Capricorn, anything that has to do with addiction or whatever, codependency, right? Any kind of addiction, anything you're addicted to, Queen of Swords, anything that you're addicted to, just cut it out. You know, because again, if we're talking about different levels, it's like some of you just need to tweak a little bit about where you're at. Uh, others of you, other things, drastic things happen. Saturn in retrograde gives karma. If you've been doing good, then your life has been doing awesome, right? The sun. If you haven't been doing so good. Well, then you had to look at what life is, um, what, like you really had to examine what success really is. How are you viewing it, you know? Because the devil there, it's about making money, and you guys love, have you know, you like the finer things in life, you're ruled by Venus. Um, look at this. Knight of Cups. Pleasure, which is the Six of Cups. Ace of Swords, as I said. Swiftness, which is the Eight of Wands. And the Star. Okay? You know who's looking in the past? The Knight of Cups is looking in the past. As well as the man in the communication card. Empress on the bottom. One second. One eleven. It's reminding me to be appreciative for all the things that I have. Not that I don't remember, but it's just a nice, I find it a nice time to do every day. You want to take a minute? <sighs> take a big breath, would you? You know, you got to think about it. Scorpio is your opposite, okay? Both of you can, everyone, but both of you can work on what's fun, fun, fun. Okay? I 
I see for a lot of you, if you if you um, are more concerned about your business versus your love or whatever that means, um, it would behoove you to do so, okay? Because it's, and when I say your business, of course this can mean occupationally, but I sense it just as like your, you, what are you doing in your life? Where are you going? Look at this road, okay? You are driving the chariot, okay? This is your reading. That means that you drive the chariot. No one else. I see that during uh, September Virgo season, it's very important for you to not see the road as so long, okay? As too long. Um... You know, don't give up on it. Because again, we talked about this. You're the farmer, right? You work at things for a long time and then you want to keep them. But it all depends on what else you have in your chart, okay? Now, this Piscean uh, full moon, Knight of Swords, the way you think about something. I was t I've been telling everybody, it seems to be an overall message. Strength in the Ace of Discs, okay? I sense that this is what you want. Passion, confidence, security, right? New possibilities. I see that if you just take baby steps down this road, by Libra season, you're going to feel so much better, okay? You don't have to run, okay? Because the bull only runs when they're afraid or they're mad. But even when they're mad, they're still afraid, okay? You don't have to run. You just have to start looking at it differently. Okay? Don't see whatever hasn't happened or what isn't happening or what you can't go back to as whether those would be people or places or things like as something as a failure. It is not. A failure it is all part of the cycle of life empress for those of you who live in an air live in a region geologically speaking that is where there are multiple seasons well particularly four seasons well that shows you a lot about life and death okay there's a reason why the majority of people You know, look at this, this dying flower, right? And then the empress. She's not upset about that. She's like, my beautiful flower is going back into me, back into my earth, right? So that, and you know what happens with decay that falls upon the, upon the earth? Well, decay gives, death gives life. The most fertile soil is black. And that's because it's full of dead things. Things that took time. And you can't just throw a dead deer in there and be like, oh, good soil. It's like little things fall off the trees. And then the rains come and make it softer. And then Animals walk over it, and then the snow comes, and it covers it like a blanket so that it can work through what it needs to work through as it decomposes and becomes just going, it's just going back to source. Again, I guess that's what, that's fascinating. I guess that whatever is taken away from us is just another way for us to become closer to source, to go back to source. There's something that was in the way. Right? Yeah. Strife and failure. Yeah. That's usually when something pretty drastic changes, right? Because again, we weren't able to take that change for ourselves because we were afraid 
that we'd lose something if we did that, right? You're, again, your I possess. I think you have a hard time saying what it is that you really want to say to folks um, when it is that you feel something that just, you can't keep it inside anymore, man. It's not good for you. You know? Ace of Swords knows that. All right, let's read a little something out of this book. Although terror is intense, this energy is nicer. Some of the folks are real sad. And I know in a way, I think humanity is kind of sad right now. That's pretty obvious. Not even the folks that are happy still are working through a lot of stuff. But it's like you on the surface is so steady that it almost makes me forget how upset you are, which is your strength and your weakness. We're going to read from The Women Who Run With Wolves by Clarissa Estes. This is particularly to women archetypes, but I'm going to read it in a uh, open sense because we all can learn from one another. Taurus. <clears throat> okay. It says, for some, it is easier to think higher, more beautiful thoughts, and to touch those things that positively transcend <coughs> Easy to think, <coughs> hard to say. <coughs> Taurus, let's try again. Jesus. For some, it is easier to think higher, more beautiful thoughts, and to touch those things that positively transcend us than to touch, help, and assist the not-so-positive. Even more so, it is easy to turn away the not-beautiful, you love beauty, right? The not-beautiful and feel falsely righteous about it. This is the love problem of dealing. Well, the story is the skeleton woman. It says, what is not beautiful? Our secret hunger is to be loved. Uh, our secret hunger to be loved is not beautiful. Our disguise and misuse of love is not beautiful. Our der dereliction in loyalty and devotion is unlovingly. Our sense of soul separateness is homely. Our psychological warts, inadequacies, misunderstandings, and infantile fantasies are not beautiful. Additionally, the life, death, life, God, I love life, nature, which births, destroys, incubates, and births again, is considered by our cultures not beautiful. Right? To untangle this is to understand that conceptual error, to, to understand that conceptual error and to set it aright. To untangle this is to understand that the love, that love does not mean all glimmering candles and increase. To understand means to, that one finds heartening rather than fear in the darkness of regeneration. It means balm for old wounds. It means changing our ways of seeing and being to reflect the health rather than the dearth of the soul. Dearth. I wonder if that's the opposite of hearth. Interesting. Well, I gotta say it. Tara don't lie. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't, Zuni. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I wish you could see her. You wanna see her? Zuni, say hi. Hi, Zuni. Alright. I'll see you later. Please take care of yourself. Happy September. You know?
take advantage of the full moon. Realize these eclipses are a lot on folks, okay? It'll be a lot the next six months. It's just the way that it goes. We're just filtering out, right? All right, love you. Peace. <laughs>